very competitive to get into the team at the moment, which is a great place to be. So, you know, uh, that's bringing the best out in the group, and that is one thing that we've really sort of pushed hard in the place that you need to be at your best to uh, make sure that you're still in the team. So. Uh, the last few weeks we've had a, a couple of good, or three good games, particularly with our friendly against Warrington. Then the St Helens game was a, a very, very tough encounter and uh, now Bradford. And with the Bradford game we are able to get a lot of our uh, sort of execution right and uh, a lot of our plays on. So we're looking forward to now what we're facing this Sunday. Well, I don't think there was too much wrong in what we are doing. We just put a lot of pressure on ourselves. You know, we uh, turned over the ball and gave away too many penalties and that makes it a tough game for any team. So you know, we made sure that we were a lot better against the Bradford team and you know, made sure we fixed up that area and hopefully we can take that into this Sunday. But I've been very lucky, I guess, with the competition within our team to uh, sort of have players very focused about what they're doing because if they didn't perform, then you know, they, they miss out on the opportunity. So, you know, we've had uh, you know some real good competition leading into this game, and I still do this week. I'm sort of going to have to make some good decisions uh, in which way we go this weekend. So it's a good place to be. No, I've watched plenty of St George in my time and uh, you know, I still have even in their last season so you know, we know exactly what uh, to expect and you know, it's going to be a tough game. You know, uh, all these type of games are, it's a big game so we're looking forward to the challenge and you know, playing in front of a, a sold out crowd. How tough is it going to be for <coughs> St George going from a heat wave in Sydney to the uh, the grim greyness of a, of a February in Wigan? Oh, it's definitely different. It, uh, it is a challenge. You know, uh, it, you know the weather that we've had in the last three months. We're definitely uh, prepared for whatever sort of weather is thrown at us. Uh, you know, in the time of coming over here, we we played at Ellen Road about three or four years ago, and uh, the weather that was tossed up that night was probably the worst I've ever seen in a rugby league game. So, you know, it uh, can come in any different way, but at the end of the day, it's between uh, that 80 minutes that you've got to make sure that you perform at your best, and that's what we're focusing about. We had a little bit of a, a scare, I suppose, with uh, Gleese with a bit of a tight hemi, but uh, he sounds like he's come through pretty well, so I've got a, a good uh, health. One focus for the media seems to be around the uh, Wayne Bennett, Michael Maguire scenario, the uh, uh, Sorcerer <coughs> versus the Apprentice. Uh, is that flattering to be uh, to be spoken of in the same breath as, as Wayne, that the coach has achieved what Wayne's achieved? Oh, definitely. I'd be uh, happy to probably achieve half of what he's achieved in his career. I think uh, you know he's created a lot of history for his own himself, and you know what he's done in the game is quite amazing. But you know at the end of the day, really, it's about uh, Wigan v St George and how those teams uh, turn up on that park, and we're making sure that we're doing everything possible so we know exactly what to expect and you know get our game that we are very capable of doing on Sunday. Thank you.